Today's topic is a real Darwin by Jhumpa Lehri. This story is about a, a homeless refugee who has been deported to Calcutta and all that she leaves behind is her husband, a two-story mansion, a lot of coffer boxes and her two daughters. She is living under the mailboxes of a complex story apartment and the apartment owners are really in love with her. She is the sweeper of the stairwell and she takes care of the house as a guarded dog. Moving on in the story, you will understand what happens with Burima in, due, in the due course of the story. Now let's understand the points in the, given in the summary. A homeless refugee. As I already told you, Buri Ma was a homeless refugee. She was a 64 year old woman who was deported to Calcutta after partition. She had left behind a mansion, her husband, four daughters and a lot of richness that she keeps enumerating during the day when she cleans the stairwell. Slowly and steadily, people in the apartment start loving her and they do take care of her a lot. The second point keeps the stairwell clean. As already told you, she used to live under the mailboxes of the apartment complex and in return she used to keep the stairwell very clean and tidy. She was working as the sweeper there. People were really happy with her. Craze for modernization. The story starts changing its plot when the two Dalals buy two basins for the apartment. One basin has been installed in the gallery of the apartment which everybody can, be, everybody can use. Now the visitors also get attracted to their apartment. The reason was the modernization. The modernization that they have pulled up was a normal basin to clean off their hands and faces. When people started paying a lot of visits to the basin, it, would, it became eventually difficult for Burima to keep it clean all day long because there was a tantor of all the people running and walking in again and again. Burima gets outplaced. Now eventually when the Dalal places a basin in the gallery, Burima gets outplaced because everybody now wants a basin in the apartment because of which they pull up a renovation in the whole of the apartment. Slowly and steadily, when Burima is replaced from the mailboxes to the rooftop, she eventually feels bad but does not react to it. And one day, something different happens. Let's see what actually happens in the summary in detailed version. Burima is a 64-year-old Bengali woman who has taken up residence in the basement of an apartment building. She keeps the stairwell clean and performs other various tasks that a Durban might, like keeping out unwanted visitors and watching out for the residents. In return, the residents look out for her, offering her tea now and then, as well as listening to her stories about her life, many of which they believe she is exaggerated or made up. How could a stairwell cleaner, after all, have once been a landowner? Now, as I already told you, Burima was a 64-year-old, very old Bengali refugee. She was deported from Cal uh, deported to Calcutta after partition. She used to live in the stairwell, and in return, the people in the apartment used to give her food, used to give her place to sleep or live. Moving on. Whatever the true story is, Burima has done a great service for those living in the flats above her. Things begin to change, however, when progress comes to the flats. One of the residents, Mr. Dalal, is promoted and with it comes more money for more improvements. The other residents begin to seek out their own improvements to their flats and the building as well. Now, people in the apartment looking at Mr. Dalal also start copying him out for more comfort and a better lifestyle. One of the aspects of Jhumpa Lehri's story that I like is how authentic and true to life they are. In this case, the real Durban addresses the changes in time. Buri Ma is from another time and, and place. She hangs on to and retells her life story while the world, the flat building she lives in along with its res residents are moving forward. She is at a loss when things begin to change. Unfortunately, for those around her, they are not so tolerant of that which stays the same. Burima is 
the pseudo gatekeeper or groundskeeper of an apartment building in Calcutta. Now here, Jumpa Lehri tries to explain the authentic lifestyle which we earlier used to have. We used to follow the level of simplicity. Eventually, when want came in, it begetted more want and when stuff came in, it begetted more stuff. So, in this due course, Buri Ma was neglected and she was displaced from her actual position to a better position. Why do we so say pseudo? Because Buri Ma isn't real Darwin or a gatekeeper. She just kind of became one because she does all the generous tasks real Darwins do, like monitoring excess into the building and sweeping the stairwell. In return, she gets to sleep behind the gate and hover of the resident doorways, waiting for a free cup of tea. But we should tell you what happens at the beginning. Burima is shaking out her bedding on the rooftop because she is convinced there are mites biting her and keeping her awake at night. You'll see why this is very important. Our highly informative third person omniscient narrator tells us that Burima loves to spin stories about her past, which if you were to believe her was full of luxury before she was deported to Calcutta after partition. The event that led to the creation of Pakistan separate from India. What happened to Burima? No one knows, in fact, nobody is even sure if Burima is telling the truth or not. But eventually, this the Jum Jumpa Lehri or the author leaves the entire topic to an extent where she's created a reminiscent meaning to the 